And welcome back to another episode of Passion Beard. Nick here with Shane. And uh, Shane brought down uh, something, I guess, you got in a trade or something? Uh, no, picked this up while I was up in Connecticut. Oh, uh, nice. Yeah, so this is Captain Lawrence. Uh, it's their Golden Delicious. Uh, it's a triple aged in apple brandy barrel. So we don't obviously get any Captain Lawrence here in Pennsylvania. So it sounded good. I had to pick it up while I was there. Yeah, it's based out of Pleasantville, New York. So, uh, oh, Pleasantville. Not, yeah. <laughs> it's called Golden Delicious. Yes. And uh, it sure as heck looks golden and delicious. Yes, it does. <laughs> it smells pretty good, too. Yeah, a little uh, quite quite clear for now. Oh, the head that it has on here, it. Almost smells similar to uh, the Jolly Rancher, uh, Green Apple Jolly Rancher. That does smell pretty good. It doesn't yeah. smell really like sweet though. I, I mean, it no. definitely has like an apple character. Yeah, to it. I think a lot of it has to do with like it's almost like apple skins. Right. Almost yeah. you get that aroma off the top, but uh, no, it definitely smells pretty good. Yeah, it smells good. And this what clocks in around twelve percent? Yeah, this is about twelve. Uh, yeah, twelve percent. Let's see how so well the uh, alcohol's masked on this yeah, one, then. Cheers. Cheers. Well, it's certainly um, boozy. Yeah. I mean... You know what? It For 12%, really you is. do expect a little bit of booziness, but this, this is almost a little over the top with the booziness. Yeah. Um, I thought that was going to be a little bit more... I mean... A little mellower. Yeah, a little bit more mellow. It, the barrel character just... It, it jumps right, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's overtaking the spirit. you know what? I still really like this one. I do too. Um, it's it's different. I you know I don't know. To me, it seems like the the, the triple doesn't really have a, a strong enough base to kind of handle the you know a barrel character. I mean, this is still good, but I just I think that the barrel just instantly overtakes almost all the triple qualities in here. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. I I really like the barrel age stuff. So with the barrel taking over, it's mm -hmm. not necessarily a negative. Right, that you're getting out of it. So no, it's not a negative. It's just different. You know what I mean? It's oh yeah, um, a absolutely. It's different. And I mean, this I, might you know this. Who knows? This might kind of war when it warms up. It might you know some triple qualities might come out a little bit more. Yeah, but, I mean, it's still good though. I like no, it. No, definitely good. I mean, this one picked up a bronze medal at the Great American Beer Festival back in 2008. Right. Um, so I mean, it's definitely something worth trying if you can find a bottle of this. Uh, yeah. Rating wise, what are you thinking? Um, I'm probably going to be in the mid to upper 80s. I'd go like an 87 on it. Okay. Um, you know, I, like I said, I think, I think the, the, the barrel qualities definitely take it over the top. Not necessarily in a bad way. It's just, I wish those triple qualities and characteristics would come out a little bit more. I'm going to let it sit and warm up. I mean, maybe it will, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, for me, 87. <laughs> uh, uh, I agree with you. Uh, I'm going to go with a 90. I, I definitely like the characteristics from the barrel. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll be honest, I wasn't really looking for a triple out of this one. I was really looking for something that emphasizes what it was the aged apple in. apple brandy, yeah. So, uh, to me, this is definitely a treat. Um, the booziness can be a little offsetting. Um, I'm actually going to polish this off and then finish what's left in the, <laughs> in the uh, no, bottle. Yeah. So, um, but no, not, no, not, not for me. I, I'm with you on that. That's a, that's a good, that's fair. So Maybe my rating will change over time. We'll see. Once the, yeah, <laughs> once I drink this. We'll see. Well, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Passion Beer, and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.